What is up, world? I'm Dave LaFave, and you are watching Primetime Carolina. We're going to play a game. Um, if you've heard this phrase before, I want you to hit the like button. Ready? <clears throat> Today, during joint practices, the Carolina Panthers and New England Patriots got in a brawl. Go ahead. Hit the like button. You should be hitting it because I know you heard this phrase yesterday, second day in a row. Deja vu all over again. The two teams going at it just like they did yesterday. Um, this one started a little different, involved a lot of the same people. Kenny Robinson thrown out of practice again. Matt Rule hasn't ruled out that he might get cut because of this. Chuba Hover got thrown out of practice. Um, I believe some Patriots got thrown out of practice. This one started because uh, running back Chris McCaffrey took a late hit um, on a drill from a couple – Patriots defenders. He went to the ground. It wasn't brutal. It was nothing crazy. I saw a replay of it. It's not in this clip, but I did see it. It wasn't bad, but he did go to the ground, and it was kind of unnecessary on the Patriots' part. So, of course, the entire team stepped in to defend him, but here you go. This is what it looked like. Yeah, so this actually spilled over into the crowd, as you can kind of see there. Um, there were there were reports that a fan got hurt. I believe it was a woman. I don't know any details. I don't know if she's okay. I don't know what happened to her. But uh, a fan actually did end up getting hurt with this happening right there along the bleachers. So that's pretty tough. But, uh, you know, thoughts and prayers out to her. Hope she's okay. But, you know, again, this is just what happens in these joint practices in the August sun, man. Dudes, dudes are ready to hit. Dudes are ready to fight. They're sick of looking at each other. They're sick of hitting their own team. They can't wait to hit somebody new. They start hitting somebody new, and this is what happens. So, anyway, let's look at some other uh, camp headlines for you. Um, first of all, Sam Darnold still sucks. Uh, J.C. Horn is still a beast. Um, and you can expect to see a lot of backups on Friday night when they play the game against the New England Patriots. Uh, the staff has pretty much treated this as the game for the week, being that they spent so much time practicing against the Patriots over the last two days. So they kind of gave a lot of those reps to the uh, starters and they got what they wanted out of that. So look to see a lot of second and third team guys playing um, on Friday night. Hopefully we'll get to see some Matt Corral and hopefully we'll get to see him play with some better players. Um, Cause obviously he was out there struggling against the commanders. Not a lot of uh, talented guys out there to help him out, of course. So uh, let's look at this. Um, Eric Ebron apparently wants to be a Carolina Panther. Joe Person tweeting that the Panthers are uh, thin at tight end. Eric Ebron obviously went to the University of uh, North Carolina, and apparently he would love to go play for the Carolina Panthers. He tweets, bring me home. And um, that'd be cool. I would support that. Um, he's a good receiving tight end. Um, hopefully Tommy Trimble's fine, obviously, uh, and all these guys are going to be you know healthy going into the season. But I would not be mad at the idea of the Panthers adding Eric Ebron. Um, to a player they did add today, the Panthers added some linebacker depth Wednesday, bringing an experienced player in advance of Friday's preseason game. The Panthers signed Josh Watson, who was on their practice squad last season. This guy's got a little bit of experience, um, played in 17 games, 2019, 2020 with the Broncos. Cool. Um, you know, it's really not a big news. You know, he's probably not gonna make the team. Um, you know, barring injury or whatever, but it is a little concerning. Um, hopefully this doesn't mean anything. Uh, there's, any, or excuse me, it doesn't mean there's any bad news on the horizon regarding Shaq Thompson and his injury. Hopefully he'll be back soon and ready to roll. But uh, yeah, anyway, just a couple quick, quick bits for you. Um, thanks for watching. Like I said, like, subscribe, please. And uh, keep pounding. We'll catch you next time. Peace out, everybody. And thank you for watching.